Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into today's video, I want to mention the obvious, which is that it is raining right now. It has been raining for like the last five days and there's nothing that I can do about it. The show must go on. So I apologize if the sound is distracting. I'm hoping that it's just kind of like a cozy vibe. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about our 12 volt ever chill fridge, which we purchased from RecPro back in October. If you have been here since we purchased this rig, then you know that this is not the fridge that came with it. It came with a traditional absorption style propane electric fridge that we had to get rid of because the thermocouple in it was bad and it was going to be more expensive to replace the part and almost as expensive to just buy a new absorption fridge as it was to buy this one. And this one was a more attractive option for us for a few reasons, which I will get into. I had some of you asking here recently about this fridge, whether or not we liked it, if it was working well, etc. Because you might remember I posted a video about the ordeal that we went through to get this fridge in here. It was quite the process. And if you haven't seen that video, I will link it. I highly recommend that you go and check it out. If for no other reason than that, I think it encapsulates how like maddeningly frustrating and difficult even the like seemingly smallest changes can be when you live in a space this small. So by the time we finally got this in here, got it installed, got it hooked up, I was just so relieved that it was over that I was just basically like, yeah, it works. It's great. Bye. And also to be fair at that point, we had only had it in for around two weeks when I published that video. So I didn't want to go out on a limb and be like, yeah, this fridge is great. And I love everything about it having not used it for very long, but it's January. Well, no, <laughs> it's February now. And so we've been using this thing for a while and I feel a little bit more comfortable talking about it and going over the highlights and also some of the things that I maybe am not a huge fan of. So hopefully this video will answer any of the questions that you guys have had. So this fridge was around $1,500 and although expensive, it was not really any more expensive than a traditional absorption RV fridge would be. It is capable of running on 12 volt or 24 volt DC power, and it uses between 48 to 50 watts during an on cycle. So just to kind of give you a compare and contrast with the old fridge and its specs, so it ran on propane and electric. When it was on propane, it would use around 10 watts running the circuit board. And when it was on 120 volts, it would use around 400 watts continuously. Um, its dimensions internally were like six cubic feet. This fridge uh, does not have propane, so you lose something there if you are a fan of having that option. Um, it really wasn't a big deal for us, so we didn't really care about losing that little bit of, and it uses about, like I said, 48 to 50 watts or like one kilowatt of power a day, which some people might think is a lot, but for us, it's a trade-off that we're willing to make. We have ample power to be able to run something like this. Additionally, it is bigger because it does not have the like huge mess of like tubes and wires and everything on the back that an absorption fridge does. And it's 10.8 cubic feet on the inside. So quite a bit bigger. You have a lot more storage capacity with this style than you do with an absorption fridge. And truth be told, I think for Stuart and I both, that was one of the biggest selling points for us in choosing this fridge. It just feels and looks a lot more residential than a lot of the absorption style fridges do. Granted, the newer ones now look fine. I mean, they're fine, but this just, it feels more residential and we really, really like that. Anything that you can do to kind of bring that normalcy into this like life is just, it feels like a luxury. It's really, really nice. And given the fact that one of our favorite things to do the entire reason that we're doing this at all is to have like off-grid capability and be able to go out and be disconnected in a way for extended periods of time, having a way to keep a decent amount of food fresh and frozen for an extended period of time is really, really important. It also works really, really well. It keeps everything so cold. I keep it on like the number three setting. It has like one through five of cooling options. And I keep it on a two or a three, depending on how cold everything in the fridge feels. If I turn it up any more than that, items on the top shelves will actually freeze solid. And the freezer is incredible. 
comfortable. Like with the absorption fridge that we had, even in winter time when it was the coldest ambient temperature, things in the freezer would never really be like really frozen frozen like ice creams and um, frozen juices and that kind of thing would always be just kind of not slushy but just not hard and that is definitely not the case with this one it freezes everything and it's it's really really cool to have that because even though the, our old fridge worked in our last rig I was always kind of just expecting to open the fridge one day and see that something had molded and gone bad way before it should have just because I didn't have a lot of confidence in its cooling capacity and that's something that I think is pretty well known people who have absorption style fridges and freezers know that they are just they, they are lacking in the performance department. Another thing that I really did not like about the absorption fridge that is not an issue with this fridge is that around every three months or so, I would have to take everything out of the fridge and freezer, shut the fridge off and like defrost it because the fins in the back of the fridge would collect ice particles and the back wall of the freezer would like grow ice and you would lose freezer space exponentially over time. I mean, it wasn't a big deal. It was just something that I did did, but that is not an issue with this fridge because it doesn't cool with absorption. So I really, really like that. I like the fact that I don't have to be thinking, oh, you know, it's almost time. I need to take everything out, find a place to store everything while I like let this thing drip thaw for an entire afternoon. And I really, really like the fact that there is so much storage like the vegetable drawer especially has so much space we've I've been able to start buying like lettuce and tomatoes and like have more fresh veggies on hand which is not something that I could ever do in our old fridge because we just did not have the space and again I found that things really did not stay fresh as long as I would like them to like it just didn't cool efficiently throughout the entire fridge and this does not seem to have those hang-ups by and large I love everything about this fridge with like one exception and this is such like a, a minor nitpicky thing but I mention it just because it might be a big deal for somebody else I wish that the fridge door had more like storage shelves on the inside it has two big shelves on the bottom that you can put like a gallon of milk or orange juice in which is really really nice because that frees up storage on the shelves but there's not really a place to put like condiments and that kind of thing and we are big condiment people I like to do a lot of like stir fries and that kind of thing so I always have sauces and marinades and there's really not a good place to keep them I just kind of set them on the bottom shelf and hope that they don't fall over when we're on the road and thus far that hasn't been an issue as long as I remember to latch this which is really really important um, I haven't had anything like spill or create a mess or anything like that it would just be nice I think if the door had more more condiment storage and it really doesn't which I think is strange but it, it might be a big deal deal to you it might not it's just something that I think about every time I open the door other than that everything about this fridge is fantastic I really don't have any complaints about it at all it has worked flawlessly since the day that we put it in and I have like complete faith that it will continue to work well until it you know just gets old and stops functioning which happens to everything eventually anything that we lose with some like efficiency not having propane I feel is more than made up for and the fact that we have more storage capacity now for food and just the overall design of the fridge the simplicity of it it's, it's a lot less fussy I have to think about it a whole lot less than I had to think about our old fridge which is really really nice a little bit of a simpler video uh, but I wanted to answer any of the questions that you guys had yeah I like the fridge yeah it works really really well getting it installed was a process you can go back and watch that video but that's not the fridge's fault that's just because we are modifying heavily modifying a space that is not intended for that I don't think Bigfoot had this kind of thing in mind when they built this back in 1997 but here we are I thought today it would be a good day to film this video too since it's too rainy to do anything else and also we went grocery shopping like two days ago so the fridge looks well stocked and aesthetically pleasing and like we actually take care of ourselves so I wanted to go ahead and do this now and um, answer those questions. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions, leave them down in the comments below and I will answer them there. If you like this style of content, then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. That tells
tells me everything that I need to know. If you want to look at this fridge, I will include a link down in the description as well as in a pinned comment in the comment section. But that is pretty much it. Um, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that I'll see you for the next one. Bye. So this fridge is a, um, Don't get discouraged. I'm not. This is normal. <laughs> and on 12 volts, on 12 volt AC, on 120 volt AC, use about 400 watts at all times. What? Okay. <laughs> I know it sucks.